Hey guys, it's Ashley from AMJ Tutorials and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a stained glass pattern. So this goes out to Patty. She left in the comments below on one of my videos of how, how to do this. So I hope this answers your question, Patty. All right, let's get started. Okay, to start off, how I what I did is I went to Google and I Googled stained glass clip art and sometimes, you, or you could do stained glass coloring page. And so I copied and pasted this from Google. So this is the image and you can tell it's an image if you look down here at the um, bottom left right here, it says image. So we need to convert this into an um, SVG so our Cricut will recognize it. So we're gonna go up here to path, up here at the top and go down to trace bitmap and it's going to pull the panel up on the right and you're going to make sure that you're under multicolor. Down here you're going to drop down the box and hit colors and since it's a black and white image we know we're going to need two scans and we're going to make sure to remove the background. We're going to apply and we're going to drag that image off. We're going to delete the image and again we can tell that this is the image by going down here at the bottom and clicking delete and this is the one we're working with. So if you go over here on your left, you can click on the nodes and these little dots are basically letting your Cricut know where to cut. So this is what we want. Okay, now all it is to do is to fill in with your paint bucket uh, the colors. And again, when I first started, this was a little confusing. I, it was like my brain couldn't register that the color I put on the computer means nothing because the vinyl that I put on my Cricut mat is the color that it's going to be. So what we're going for right now is a stained glass look. So I would do like a darker and a lighter version of the colors. Um, let's make our flowers pink and if you go down here at the bottom you can drop down and it gives you all these different color palettes and then here's a pink so I'm going to do darker on the outside so we can do oh okay so see I had selected the black image so you've got to make sure that you select off of anything before you select the color so we can hit control Z if we mess up and it'll just take it back to the original. Let's select off by just clicking off of the image and then clicking our dark pink that we want and hitting the paint bucket. Let's zoom in to our flowers by hitting the plus key on our keyboard. And giving all of our petals dark. Okay, and if you, sometimes you do this, I don't cut it off, but it didn't do that. Okay, and I went up here on the, on the left and clicked our selector tool and we're going to select off of it. And now we're going to hit a lighter pink and get the middle. Get our paint bucket tool and do the same thing. hit our selector tool, select off of it, and go to the next, and we'll do some different shades of green. Let's go to the bottom. If you see over here on the bottom right, these arrows that takes you up and down to get to different colors. And I think we'll do this green. Make the stems green. Okay, and before we get ahead of ourselves, let's make sure we union all these together. So let's click on all of our dark pink petals and hit the shift key and hold down the shift key while we select all the dark pink. And then let's go up to path and union those together. Now let's hit the light pink, hold the shift key and select all of the light pinks. Don't forget that little and go up to path and union 
and then let's hit all the green stems path and union okay now let's color the other stems a little closer and let's do okay let's select all of these holding the shift key down and hitting all of our green stems and then going to path union and then let's make these the dark green stems too let's click those say we forget what color we chose on the color palette we can color them any color we can select them hold the shift key down and select that other one and then we can go over here on our left and do the dropper tool and hit the color we want it to be that gives it some variation you can tell it looks more stained glass okay let's color the vase let's color the background all right let's do a blue background and let's have some different shades of blue in there okay let's select those and shift and select all of those blues and up go up to path union and then let's do this light blue Let's do a different light blue. So I'm going to hit Control Z and take away all those light blues. And let's do a different light blue. Maybe this. Okay. And again, it's not going to matter because it's the color the vinyl is that really makes the difference. But okay, let's hold the shift key down and get all of our light blues and go up to path union okay and then let's do our little pot let's do a purple and then select them all put the key down and then go on to path union let's put a lighter purple Union. Okay, and then let's do the border. I'm going to do a yellow and then and then select them by holding the shift key down and selecting all of our yellow. I'll go in with the spider yellow and fill in the rest. Okay. And then we'll hold the shift key down and get all of those yellows. And then go up to path union okay now if you notice there is a tiny hole right here that i noticed let's remove that go up to this node on the left and click the black outline and we're going to take away those nodes you can either draw a square around it or you can hit control hold down the control alt key and click on those nodes that you don't want and those will get rid of them and then there was one more down right here and so hold control alt and just tap those away 
Okay, so now that we've got it all colored in, remove the outline. and then put that back in here, okay? Now we're gonna select it all by drawing a box around it uh, by hitting the left key on the mouse key and drawing a square around it. We're just gonna group all these together, Control G. Okay, so you could do this and leave out the black outline or you could use a black background. Okay, so what I would do because whenever you saw, when we put this in here, you could still see like an area around where it didn't fill all the gaps. That and is that one, 13 yeah, that might not be good. Either. Okay, so then you would, to get rid of those, and it would be kind of like a puzzle piece whenever you put these all back together when you cut them out of vinyl. But to get rid of them, let's go up here to path and let's break that apart and then path union okay and then now you can set it behind here okay or you can leave it like that okay so i hope that answers your question patty uh let me know if it doesn't but uh if you got if anyone has any other questions or wants anything demonstrated please leave me a comment below i hope you have a great day and happy creating thanks for watching bye